This year, an amazing anonymous donor has agreed to match funds up to 25000 And are you up to the challenge? Get your tickets now. For more information on tickets, email gala at oconeyhumane.org or you can call Bonnie at area code 781-264-2686. And join us right here on Sunny 107.9 WFBS and LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com as we broadcast live from the Wags and Whiskers Gala. And yours truly here will be the MC. The Wags and Whiskers Gala, the 50th anniversary celebration for the Oconee Humane Society, October 20th from 6 to 9 at the club at Kiwi Key. Get your tickets now. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is officially 9 a.m. from sunny 107.9 WFBS LPFM Salem and LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com Seneca. Happy Saturday, everyone. If you're just getting up or if you've been up for a while and you've actually went outside, it actually feels rather nice this morning. Yeah. Just to tell you how nice it feels, Lori and I this morning on uh, our back porch, Monkey Monster, at about 4 o'clock, we decided to get up and go outside and drink coffee on our patio. And oh boy, was it nice. It's going to be a great day today because you know why? We've got the greatest hits for you here on this Saturday. Coming through that door almost at any minute, it's going to be none other than the legendary voice of Chris Ruin. He's going to be joining us here in the studio this morning. We've got a lot to get to, a lot of news, information, and fun. But you know what it means. It's great music. And we've got the greatest hits in Carolina Beach music, rhythm and blues, and old-time rock and roll as we kick off the show this Saturday morning here for you on Sunny 107.9 WFBS at LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com. Got you something special right now. You ready? Crank it up. Got you a little Cliff Ellis this morning. And you just don't know what you mean to me here on the greatest hits. Good morning to you. you worry about your man. Oh, yeah. I'm coming home as soon as I can. Oh, yeah. I've got love in the palm of my hand. Just got to get back as soon as I can. You don't know what you mean to me. You don't know what you mean to me. You don't know. No, no, you don't know. Come on, kid, I think you got something to say. Right now, so I'll be on time. I want to do all that I 
What did you do? Well, I mean, I know we're not in the basement anymore. We don't have two other souls in here. You like going in the basement, though, right? I mean, seriously, you like doing a radio show from the basement, right? Well, of course I do. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the golden tones of the one and only, the oh-so-talented, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Ruin. Hi, everybody. What's happening? Hey, this is great. This is, I mean, I was so excited. I just got, I got hung up at McDonald's and I was getting real nervous because Jazzy's so wild when you're late, but now I'm here and I'm all dressed up for the occasion and we're going to get, we're going to get the pay. Oh, you, oh, you got a pop. <laughs> Meet oh. Katie the possum. Oh, hi Katie. Yeah. She's but we're going to pay play some good stuff. Yeah. Back from the mid sixties too, Jeff she, promised. She is uh, from actually from Mountain Rest. She's a Mountain Rest possum. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. I thought they were bigger than that. No, she's. <laughs> no, I mean the ones from Mountain Rest. I mean, no, usually, usually those possums. Like well, big as me. unfortunately, big. those possums from Mountain Rest, they they all meth. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening well, up maybe there. Maybe that's Mountain why Rest. you know they're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually they just kind of look at you and want to eat something, but dang. <laughs> They're chasing around, and then their eyes get all those different colors, you know? Like, you know. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad you finally made it down here. I know it's a trip from up there on the lake to get down here. There's a lot oh, of things Lord. that can happen between here and there. Well, look, your landing strip isn't even big enough for my jet. I mean, what the hell? Guys, don't you have a decent landing strip around here? I'm going to have to <laughs> chop her in next time. <laughs> <laughs> you just trying to build me up to play Air Force One. Well, you know, if you're going to be patriotic today, then let's get some Nelly on there. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> we will not be playing Nelly. Oh, I got to be looking at the show because I know these guys are going wild now that I made an appearance. They're going to love it. I, mean, I got all kinds of crap for you guys. I mean, you got Miss Judy. You met Judy last Saturday up at uh, Salem when we were up there for oh, yes, the she car was so show. Nice. Yep, Judy is uh, checking in this morning. Good morning. Happy morning to you. And uh, the legendary mouth of the South, ladies and gentlemen, Scooter Leslie. Googa, mooga, mooga. Scooter is a, a, a radio broadcast of a friend of mine who has been in radio a long, long time. Where is he, Atlanta or no, what? No, he's in Easley, South Carolina. I mean, with a name like that, yep. I'd be in Atlanta or Chicago or something. Um, That's a famous name. Uh, Scooter actually started in the late 70s. 
at uh, WANS in Anderson. And at one time, he was part of the number one rated morning show in the Greenville Spartanburg Metro Market, which uh, at, was at WANS, was Mike Benson and Scooter Leslie in the morning. Oh, I bet that was fun oh, having that show. They used to do a th- uh, thing in the radio called the Jolt at 710 in the morning called the Jolt out of bed. You remember Jolt Cola? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, yes. They would give away they would give away a six pack of Jolt Cola and people would uh, red call in and register for somebody to wake them up out of bed, Jolt Cola. And uh, that was a very popular little skit where they would call and play. Did you the, ever drink that stuff? What, Jolt Cola? It, yeah. I tried Jolt Cola one time. And realized that Jolt Cola isn't for me. Yeah. So, you know, no, I didn't. I, I only had it one time. I mean, I had one. I couldn't even recognize my signature, you know. I mean, I, it, was, it was really something. And hey, look, was, and look know, at, I liked it, but, I mean, I just, just didn't do it anymore. And then look at all the market, the monsters and all that other stuff. Oh, now. the energy drinks. Yeah, the energy drinks. Oh, God, those things are horrible. I'm horrible. not. Uh, I, I've, I've got enough. I've just got my second cup of coffee this morning, and I'm, I'm just happy. Hey, it is nice outside this morning. It's beautiful. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go for my walk afterwards. We've and... been up uh, since 4 o'clock this morning, Lori and I have, and we went out on the patio, had a cup of coffee, and fell asleep in the Anirondack chairs. Why'd you get up at 4 o'clock? Well, I mean, you know, when, you, when you're when old and you start hurting, <laughs> you get up out of the bed. <laughs> I mean, I get up about 4 o'clock because I got business to do, but man, I, I kind of stumble around, you know, and move the dog out well, and I find go back out, to bed. I find out I do my best business early in the morning, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel much better after I, I get the first laugh in. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, I mean, you're you're a lot more calm, too, you know. You don't get dark grit in your teeth or anything, you know. So I have a little package of surprise that came to me this morning from my father, 1976, Remember When. Oh, that's funny. Um, he, they, uh, he went up there with uh, my stepmom. They went up to Cherokee yesterday, so he brought me back uh, something. And I was just sitting here going through it. You know, 1976 was the year I was born, so it's been coming up on 48 years. Oh, Lord. You uh, were born in the Lord. Yeah, I was born January the 9th, 1976. So the top three television shows for that year, Happy Days, The Six Million Dollar Man, and Charlie's Angels. And I've got to tell you, out of all three of those, I love me some <laughs> Charlie's Angels. The 70s were stylish. I used to love, you know what, when, when, when Farrah Fawcett had those wings, that, Woo, wing, that mercy. wing haircut, oh. I thought that was about. You know, I used to, I used to really like that. I'm sure you did. I'm sure there's a she lot of other so people nice. in the world that liked it too. But here's something that you'll find quite interesting this morning. A gallon of milk was a dollar sixty-five. Okay. But you know what? You th- think about it. You know, you go to all that was, these, but that was expensive back in the day, though. Yeah. Yeah, but look at all these. What do you? It's like a gallon. I think you can get a gallon at all. It's two, like two twenty. Two twenty. Yeah. Yeah. It expires a little sooner, but still. New house, forty three thousand dollars, nineteen seventy six. I bet that was a mansion. I probably it probably was. The average income. We've come a long way. Sixteen thousand dollars was the average income. And a new car was forty five hundred dollars in nineteen seventy six. And let me tell you, they were some cool cars back in those days in 1976. You know what? When yeah. you said that income, yeah, I had just gotten out of college and I had got my first job, and I remember my offer letter was fifteen thousand dollars. Man, I thought I was on top of the world. Oh, I bet so. And of course, some great, some great tunes in 1976. <laughs> I had a '76 Datsun B210. Hey, and there is an article in here for a Datsun. Was it? What did you say? Oh yeah, it con- Datsun saves lives. Um, America's number one small pickup. Good lord, this thing is weird. Datsun winner to become on ne- became Nissan. Right. Yeah, and I've got a ne- I have a Nissan truck right now. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. I may talk a little bit more about that this well, morning. Wait, you you know you talk about about that Datsun. I remember to the day I didn't even know you used to, you could deal on cars. I bought that Datsun for thirty two hundred and seventeen dollars because that was a sticker, mm-hmm. and I and I ended up it was five dollars more than that because I had to have them put an antenna on it because I wanted to put them in my own my own CD player, and that was it. So it was basically thirty two seventeen player. Or no, 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 a cassette player. Okay, I, I was going to say, no, CDs no, no, did not cassette. come out in cars until the late 1980s. No, so, okay. Yeah. All right, that makes better sense. 
Hey, so can we, can we play something that everybody's going to love, like Hang On Sloopy? Uh, I, I, got, I got your first one that you requested up first. I was the lead singer on that, not my band. Uh, okay, here you go. Uh, here's your favorite one that you said that you just had to hear this morning. Let's go to the year 65 this morning. A little question mark and the Mysterians and 96 tears. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 15 after 9 now here on the greatest hits. Chris Ruin, Jancy Jeff on this Saturday morning. Too many teardrops for one heart to be crying. Too many teardrops for one heart to carry on. You're way on top now. down at me But watch out now I'm gonna get there We'll be together For just a little while And then I'm gonna put you Way down here And you'll start crying You be right down there, looking up, and I might wave, come up here, but I don't see you waving now. I'm way down here, wondering how I'm gonna get to you, but I know now I'll just cry.
It was almost karaoke time in here. You was over just singing, hey, hang on, Snoopy. Well, I was. I sang lead on that. And I, oh, I had, yeah. I had this one guy, and the part about, ooh, and he never got low enough, and I had to get on him, and I so, said, man, get on that. So tell us about your karaoke experience. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, I don't. Uh-huh. I don't remember what oh, it was. Well, there's a picture of you singing karaoke on your Facebook page. I saw it. I don't know where, where it was. I don't know where you were at, too, but there was two of There was you and someone else side by side, and you were singing karaoke. It's a picture on your Facebook page. Well, I got to find that. I yeah, I found it. it. I, mean, I, I mean, anything like that, of course you know I love it if it's talking about me. <laughs> what, what Was it a guy or a girl? It was a guy. You and a guy were doing karaoke, and it is a picture in your photos on Facebook. You know, when I was a... Uh, when you first became my friend, I was going through and snooping you and stuff, and that's when I found it. Oh, you know what? I have, I do have a good voice, though. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you know that, you know, that's really how we became friends. You know, <laughs> you know, Jeff heard me talking in the store one day, and he said, "God, that guy's got a great voice yes, for radio." That's exactly. And what he goes, it was. "You ever done radio?" And I said, "Well, no, sir, I haven't." He goes, "You have a great voice for radio." And I said, "Well, let me try. <laughs> Can I wear my bling?" And you said, "Well, of course, with a voice like that, you know, you draw <laughs> listeners in." <laughs> and he goes, "What's your name?" And I said, "Well, my name's Urza." Jazzy Yerber with one Z. I'm Jazzy, and I said, "Well, wait a minute, man. I, I, I I'm one Z." And he goes, "Well, that sounds to me like that's a fake name." <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You're already on a roll this morning. What, what, what is in that coffee you brought it's from McDonald's? It's my coffee, man. It's a Saturday, a beautiful uh, Saturday morning. Oh, oh boy! Hey, did you? Yeah, you know, and 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 I gave my best friend an award, you know, from Jazzy oh, Yerber with Lord. one Z, and he was happy. And, yeah, and we're just having a good time. You know, I love that hat. I do too. That, that, is that hat one sparkles. Cool hat. Yeah, that hat sparkles. Do I'm they know work. it's a skull? Yeah, I yeah I think so. You That's can a, see it's a skull. Yeah, I love it. It's uh, it, it's gotten some conversation. Well, that's pieces. when you're supposed to say you like my hat. Oh, I do. I love the gold chain and uh, the the t-shirt that you and I both what possess. Let's get know. weird. There you go. Yeah, with the cats because I love cats. Yeah. Well, well, I've got two. You can take home with you. <laughs> G Puss and Tigger. They're uh, Tigger attorney at law. He's a cat attorney. He sits there and practices in the bathroom. Hey, uh, good morning to Kay, listening to us all the way in Griffin, Georgia. Boy, that hamster's working overtime in the transmitter this morning. <laughs> no, she's listening online. There's no way that our signal could reach Griffin, Georgia. Well, you know what, though? You, you probably have listeners even from up Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, you know? Chris, we got listeners all around the world. Oh, I know that. I mean, I I've, got, I've got listeners in Russia. Really? Yeah. And they send me Russian vodka every once in a while. In Russia? Yeah. You know what I say? What's that? I say, yet. Yeah, that's what I say. I say Guten Morgen because I've got listeners in Germany too. Do you really? Yes. Guten Tag. Uh, we have Chinese when they don't uh, try to you know spam them and keep them from listening to us because we tell the truth on this show. Uh, we've got uh, I, it's all over the world. I mean, I mean Hawaii. We've got everywhere. Japan. I've had uh, Australia. I've had Sydney, Australia. Uh, of course, the UK, big time. Because, see, the UK, especially on the Saturday morning show, 
a lot of what we play is what they consider a rock and roll music. We consider it Northern Soul. And a lot of that music that we play, particularly Carolina Beach music, is the same stuff that was played in the U.K. Uh, the Tams is a great example. The Tams, of course, from Atlanta, Georgia, they are considered Carolina Beach music. but They had two national hits. But they are loved in the U.K. Mm-hmm. I mean, that Tams, General Johnson, it's amazing to see the music we love that we think is just a small regional like Carolina Beach music. It's a national music I over there. That. Jerry Butler, um, all the Northern Soul groups here, they're hits over in the U.K. You know, I, I had never heard yes. any beach music until I moved here uh, yeah. two years out of school. Mm-hmm. And I uh, was here for about a year. And I actually lived in Greenville, and that's uh, that's the uh, that's the first time I ever heard of it. We, we actually get a lot of folks, when I say Carolina beach music, they think immediately the Beach Boys. And that's not true. That's no. there, There's a different sound. Big sound. Motown works because a lot of the Motown artists – the Temptations, The Four Tops, Martha Rees and the Vandellas, Diana Ross and the Supremes, a lot of that Motown sound was played at the beach. So they actually get a pass. Motown is a big part of Carolina Beach music from the late 50s and 60s. Four Tops. The Four Tops. Yeah, I mentioned that. Levi Stubbs and the Four Tops. So all of those groups, Motown was the predominant force of the great music because in the South, and this is a true story, a lot of this music wasn't played. And you know why it wasn't played? Because it was African Americans. But we actually had a radio station in Greenville in the late 1950s and early 60s that if it hadn't been for Wally Mullinax, he was the host of this show. He's passed away. He, uh, they did a show called uh, the, uh, the Chicken Shack. And that's basically what it was. It was, you know, the Chicken Shack. It was soul R&B music. Or they called it race music. That's exactly what it was. He was able to influence a generation by that kind of music being played here in the upstate of South Carolina because they were the only ones that dedicated like three or four hours in the afternoon. Big show, huge show, number one in the market in the late 50s, early 60s. But you also had radio stations such as 1510 WLAC in Nashville, Tennessee, that in the evenings, the 50,000-watt AM blaster put this music on the national level for a showcase. John R. way down in Dixie with those baby chicks. But that's where you heard this music. And that's where, like the Jerry Butlers and the the Tim, all this great music, this is where you heard true African-American rhythm and blues. Well, you remember Soul Train. Oh, gosh, yes. God, I used to love that show Uh, and that train. I'm Don Don Cordillas. Yes, yes. And this is Soul Train. And when they would do the dancing, when they would, and everybody would be spreading about, and they'd come through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was great. Well, you know, you had Soul Train on, and then right after that, you had American Bandstand, Dick Clark. Yes, yeah. Oh, Lord. Boy, that brings back some memories. Soul Train. Ow! Yes, yes. Remember that, that there? But, I mean, the, you know, again, and I grew up on, this is the music that I grew up on, and for most of my career, for 30-something-plus years, this is what I've done. I've done an oldies format. I've done beach music all these years. I've done uh, 70s, 80s, and but I understand, too, the, di- the demographics is changing on the music. Okay, so we're going from the good 50s, 60s, and 70s. Unfortunately, the 50s are dead. There's not there's not a people lot of the generation that are alive. There are a few that still love the fifties music. Well, the Four Seasons were in the sixties. No, uh, Frankie right. Valiant and the Four Seasons were I in the sixties. Yeah, they're great, great, great. The sixties, and again, some of the sixties stuff is fading away fast too. So, as a radio station, we have to be ready to roll with the format. And coming up a little bit later on, I want to talk about some changes that is coming. For 107.9 WFBS and Lake Kiwi Radio Online. Before you go, whoa, what's happening? Jazzy's changing the format. No, we're not changing the format. We're improving on what we're doing. So there is a difference. And I want to explain that a little bit later on coming up in the 10 o'clock but hour. But you know what, though? When you're, when, when you're playing the music in these different eras, you're really caretakers of history. That's right. You know, And that's important. 
Now, I don't know if you ever, there was a song a while back, I don't know if you ever heard of it, called Louie Louie. You you probably never played it on it, your show. Uh, it was one of the, the first songs that went through congressional hearings in the 60s. Yes, I remember that. Yes, and, that, and, the Swinging Medallions, Double Shot of My Baby's Love, uh, and now look what we've got. <laughs> And we, I know, but we would sit around in seventh grade and we'd say, I think it means this. No, it means this. You know, I mean, we'd have okay. all that type. The song for my generation was Naughty by Nature. Naughty by Nature. Naughty by Nature in OPP. You'll have to do the research on it. There yeah, were so I've many hidden. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was other people's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you just have to go do the research. But Naughty by Nature, which was a early 90s rap song, was our generation's Louie Louie. But now look what we got. Hey, well, you know, you have several requests for the turtles, too. Happy together. Okay. Got the turtles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're just loading it up this morning. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know, people like that. And, uh, All right. Well, let me do the weather forecast because oh, I think okay, folks okay. are going to enjoy right. the weather forecast. Thank you. For today, scattered showers at late in the afternoon. High near 80 degrees uh, for today. Tonight, scattered showers. Uh, about a 30% chance, low tonight of about 65, and game day for tonight at 8 o'clock. Clemson's Death Valley looking okay for tonight, but there is that chance of a shower. Coming up Sunday, a chance of a shower mainly. It's going to be uh, partly to mostly cloudy. High 79 coming up on Sunday. Sunday night, 30% chance, 8 uh, by before 8 p.m., low around 58 degrees for Sunday night, Chris. Oh, I might, put the, I might put the blanket on the bed and come spend the night with you. <laughs> then for Monday... Sunny high around 81, and Chris, look at here, 80 for the low uh, highs of the days, lows at night in the upper 50s to low 60s. Yeah. Guess what's arrived? You know what? I, The weather in this area, I, I remember the first time experiencing it in South Carolina. I just, it was amazing to me how you could get into Thanksgiving and you get into Christmas in January. I mean, where I grew up, I still remember you going to New Year's. One New Year's when I was in high school, it was Fahrenheit, six degrees below actual. Mm -hmm. and, and we just didn't know any better. And as kids, we'd watch Disney World, and we'd watch that. And my parents would start talking about Florida and how it was summer all year round. And we, we'd be, oh, there can't be a place like that. Okay? I mean, it was oh, it's so much better. Well, we, we, we attribute our weather to that nuclear effect weather. Now you think I'm you think I'm joking no. you, but I'm really not. Prior to the lakes being built, we had snow around here, and we Did had lot. Really? Yes, had snow. We had snow, a lot of snow. Even up until around the early '70s, we had snow. Things started changing, and it has been attributed that the lakes do warm this area up in the winter time because of the heat, the evaporation coming off of it. So, yes, uh, we've had a lot of snow growing up. I mean, I remember in the late 70s, five or six inches of snow. The biggest snow I remember around here, Chris, check this out. We had 17 inches of snow in 1988, January the 7th, 1988. We had 17 inches of snow around here. Yeah. You know how you know when you've been living here long enough? Yeah. Is when you've got people from the north that start talking about, oh, you don't know how to drive, and how you start to automatically, it's like, you don't understand, it's the ice. It's the ice. You know that? Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> yes, and that's what I say. People, people, you don't understand how the ice is look, around here. people don't like to drive. They can't drive with one raindrop, much less <laughs> snow. Well, yeah, but it's really... I mean, it's kind of, you know, okay, it's kind yeah. of exaggerated. But I'm yeah. just saying, I say it. You know, it's true. You get, because the snow literally gives you better traction than ice. And when you get the ice Oh, here, I know. And that's what we get. It starts exactly. out as ice, then we get the snow, and then we get the power outages. And, well, we're out of power for weeks and days and hours at a time. So. And when you wait, and when you look at houses, you always look at the driveway. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, I'd never get down that or get up that, right? That's right. All right, well, stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I still got some other things I want you to talk about. We're going to talk a little bit about later on in the show about your show tomorrow evening that's coming up. Yes. Uh, we're actually taking the 7 o'clock off, and we're giving it to you this coming Sunday. And you got a real good show, and I think it's going to be a good uh, show for folks to tune in. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about that and more. And so much more still to come here. So I got some turtles for you. I do have a request. We're going to move it to the 70s. 
from uh, 78, and uh, the song was from a country music DJ. Her name was Alicia Bridges. Do you know the title of the song if I say Alicia Bridges? No. Okay, it's I Love the Nightlife. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. That was a great song. Yeah, we're going to play that when we come back from well, this break. that's disco, isn't it? That is disco. Yeah. Disco fits Carolina Beach music. Yeah. Yeah. I was into disco, too. Well, yeah, I know. I can, you still are. I can tell. Oh, I love that. From the stu- Studio 46 here in the basement. <laughs> 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 we got so much room without one, without Randy. I mean, you know, you put him in it here, he takes crowded. up half. It gets so crowded. You know, we do. We feel like we're in a crawl space doing a show. Mm. All right, stay tuned. That and more kept up straight ahead right here on the Greatest Hit Saturday Morning Edition here on Sunny 107.9 WFBS and LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com. Here's what's coming up to the Eagle Nest Art Center located in Salem. Get ready. It's a September edition of the Oconee Mountain Opry, which will be coming up on Saturday, September the 16th. Some of the best sounds of music are still on our own back porches, and Eagle Nest Art Center captures those musical treasures in their own venue. And then it's back. Get ready. It's coming up Saturday, October the 14th. Elvis is back in Salem. Join the Elvis tribute with Jim Reiser. It regarded as one of the best Elvis tributes anywhere. Jim Reiser returns to the Eagle Nest Art Center to take you back with all the great tunes from the King of Rock and Roll's catalog. And that's coming up on Saturday, October the 14th. For music, fun, and entertainment in Salem, check out the Eagle Nest Art Center. And if you need more information on all their shows and events coming up, check out the Eagle Nest Art Center dot com is their website. This message sponsored by Sunny 107.9 WFBS and the Town of Salem. Clemson Family Dentistry, located on the old Clemson Highway between Seneca and Clemson, is your family dentistry. Dr. John McRoberts and all his staff strive to provide you excellent comprehensive and gentle dentistry to all individuals. Serving patients who are friends in a warm, southeastern homestyle environment is the gold of our well-trained dental team. You will find that we will work to involve all of our patients in an active program to prevent dental disease. Combined with high-tech solutions with a soft touch, whether it's a complete dental makeover or simply a whitening, we enjoy working to create those bright smiles. Simply put, we want to be the best dentist office you've ever had. For more information or book an appointment, call Dr. John McRoberts today at Clemson Family Dentistry. Call 864-654-5733. That's Clemson Family Dentistry, 864-654-5733, located on the old Clemson Highway between Seneca and Clemson. You're tuned to the Oconee's number one online radio station. We're Lake Kiwi Radio Online.
No. No. <laughs> I, I have to pass this along. Lori just sent me a text in here to us, and she was freaking out because um, she hadn't been in the boys' bathroom in a while in here, and she said, just want to let you know that the bathroom is sort of clean now because, you know, she, women freak out when they have guests over. Uh, boys are gross. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can pee anywhere. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we can pee on the side we of the got road. Married, and the first time Gladys and I were brushing her teeth, and she saw me suck the toothpaste out of the tube, she almost she had a stroke. <laughs> She'll still talk about it this day. When we were built that house, she wanted her own bathroom. I'm not building your own bathroom. <laughs> You, you know how you can tell that the honeymoon phase is over? What's that? When you both walk in on each other taking a crap. Oh, God heaven. That's it. Honeymoon phase is I over. A, I, I'm not on the air. Yes, we are on the oh, air. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Chris? Oh, Chris. Thank God heaven. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, no, no. You I do think... realize you're not online only. You're over the air at 107.9. Yeah, I too. Know, okay, that's just right. just we'll make sure. Sorry. I mean, that's not the worst thing that's ever been uttered no, on this I radio station. That. Okay, there you go. All right. So, yeah, hey, fun. I find out today is a reason to celebrate, Chris. What's that? Well, hold on. I'm going to tell you. But first, I got the birthdays. I just wanted to tease you a little bit. It's your birthday? No, it's not my birthday. I'm I'm going to read the birthdays. Oh, okay. If all you're right. celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday from all of us here at The Greatest Hits. All right. First of all, birthdays today. Ed Begley Jr. celebrates a birthday today. You know who he is. Uh, started with Living with Ed St. Elsewhere. Uh, oh, 70, God, that was a great show. He is 75 years of age today. Oh, that's young. Uh, Susan Rattaton from L.A. Law is 75. I watched every episode. Mickey Rourick from The Wrestler Iron Man is yes. 71. Illusionist David Copperfield, the magician, oh, yeah. is 67 years of age today. Not everybody's dying. Jennifer Tilly is 65. Richard Marcus is 60. Molly Shannon from Saturday Night Live. Mary, Mary Gallagher. Yeah. She is 59 years of age today. Amy Poehler from Saturday Night Live and Parks Recreation is 52. And let's see here. Nick Jonas of the Jonas Brothers is 31 years of age today on this uh, September 16th, 2023. 31. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't you like to be 31 and know no. what you do now? Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, you would. Because you, yeah. you, 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 you started GE, what, 1892? 1892, and I, and I was the CEO. You founded it in 18... That is what somebody actually said. Yeah. He said, oh, yeah, you said you started GE. <laughs> GE was started in 1892. Now, you know, I maybe that's maybe it's the wrinkles, but I sure as, a, I sure as heck <laughs> was not born, was not working there in 1892. All right. You'll be happy to know that if you're celebrating these great events today, Batman Day is today. You Bat can celebrate Batman. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, you weren't even born at the original Batman. You're talking about are you now? You talking about the television series? Yes. That was 1966. Yeah. Yes. You no. Even... I, no. Oh I, man. I, I was not. Man, we had five kids. Man, we would run in there with our plate, you know, our TV dinners, and man, we would be <laughs> yelling. Do, 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 Batman. Oh, and then when the things would come up, kaboom, and all that. Oh, that was great. <laughs> but my favorite, my favorite, as always has been, is the original Munsters. You like the monsters too. Oh, I love them. I do. And the only thing I wanted and I never got for Christmas is I wanted one of that Wolfman doll that 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 <laughs> Wolfie. <edit. laughs> yes, that was so cool. I wanted it so bad. Yes, that needs to be our theme song. You're in a roll now. Man, I love that song. <laughs> well, while we're listening to that, I got some other for you. It's Locate an Old Friend Day, Responsible Dog Ownership Day, Cinnamon Raisin Bread Day, oh, so Collect good. Rocks Day, <laughs> Concussion Awareness Day. It's also the National Day of Prayer and Remembrance for the Victims of Hurricane Katrina, Guacamole Day, National POW MIA Recognition Day, Stay away from Seattle Day. <laughs> Is that really true? Yeah. Tattoo Story Day. Fa uh, Step Family Day. Thank a Police Officer Day. The Trails of Tear Commemoration Day. 
Working Parents Day, World Play-Doh Day, <laughs> Wrinkled Raincoat Day. <laughs> What's the last one? <laughs> Rin- wrinkled Raincoat Day. <laughs> God. What, who comes up with this crap? I have no idea, but this is the greatest one. <laughs> and we need to do an award for next Sunday show. It's Big Whopper Liar Day. <laughs> well, you know what? You, when you said that at first, I was thinking it was something from Burger King, but it's not. <laughs> no, no, that's no. Big Whopper Liar Day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All you got to do is get on the journal. You know, that's too bad. <laughs> hey, you know, it's too bad it wasn't today when we are having our show. I know. And then we can say truth or fiction. <laughs> or the big that's Whopper what Liar. That's what we need to do, start playing a game called Truth or Fiction. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just remember, everything we say is all complete fiction there. Oh, well, you can go. So there you go. Uh, so, yeah, big whopper liar day. All right. So. Hey, when are we going to play Louie Louie? We are. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know. I know. I just. We yeah. got plenty of time, Chris. I I just got some requests I got to get to this I morning. I just like to jam, man. I know. But we, we, hey, speaking of jam, you ready to jam? Yes. Oh, we about to jam. What's this? Got you a little Clarence Carter. We're going to play stroking this morning. I start making love. I don't just make love. I be stroking. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm here doing. I be stroking. I stroke it to the east. And I stroke it to the west. And I stroke it to the woman that I love the best. I be stroking. Let me ask you something. Time of the day do you like to make love? Have you ever made love just before breakfast? Have you ever made love while you watch the late late show? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever made love on a couch? Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever made love on the back seat of a car? I remember one time I made love on the back seat of a car, and the police came and shined his light on me, and I said, I'm stroking. That's what I'm doing. I be stroking. I stroke it to the east, and I stroke it to the west, and I stroke it. Let's go. 
Oh, yeah. I was enjoying watching you over there just to bounce your head around. You oh, were I singing it. Oh, yeah, you, you were having that song. You, you were having uh, so much fun. And I told Jeff, I want to, if you'll play it, I want to hear the zombies tell her no. And then the Hollies Ooh. bus stop. Remember that? Uh, yes, the bus stop was late 1960s. And, oh, uh, man, that was some good stuff. Let's see. Let me go in here. The zombies. But what but what really what was my favorite is uh, the reason I like the turtles is because I used to have this I had the sixty four Chevelle Malibu and I had an eight track player and back then you only had tone you didn't have bass and treble and I had this eight track of the turtles and what would happen is I'd be playing that happy together and these guys would be in the car and they start missing with the tone and I said I have it set just right leave it alone leave it alone and we would just jam. Okay, let's see here. I, I want to play something. Okay, is that what I want? Okay. What was the zombie song you want? Tell Her No. I've oh, got, that's a great one. I've got that she's, everybody will love Well, that. now, I've got She's Not There. Oh, we're blown up with comments. Yes, Tell Her No by the zombies. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm having to go into another hard drive. Aha! Did you find it? I did. Let's go ahead and get this one on because guess what? We're coming up to the most exciting moment of all of radio. What's that? We gotta tell everybody who we are in just a few moments. Here we go. The zombies this morning. It's called Tell Her No. You're oh, on the greatest God, hits. That a... That's a good song. Yeah. Here at uh, coming up top that's of the hour ten. That's, that's a romantic song when you're in about ninth grade. And if she tells you where the child Just remember she said that to me Now, ladies and gentlemen, the most exciting moment of all of radio because it's time to tell you who we are. Sunny 107.9 WFBS LPFM Salem, WFBSFM.com, and Lake Kiwi Radio Online.com Seneca. Yes, my friends, our one is in the books. Here comes our number two with the oh so talented. Chris Ruin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had to... I'm just so excited. It's all nice. We're playing some great music, singing along. I got a news story for you. You ready? Direct from Spain this morning. Police in Spain said a dress-wearing bank robber was actually a man. The mustache was a giveaway. He was easily spotted by police a couple of blocks away from the bank. <laughs> According to a survey, the top three goals of Americans over 50 are weight loss, writing a book, taking a big trip, and number four is discovering new ways to add flavor to their morning oatmeal. <laughs> yes, yes. 
And finally, a study found that you'll get a better night's rest if you let your dog sleep in the room with you. Is that true? <laughs> Plus, you sleepwalk, the dog's getting some more exercise. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jazzy's on a roll this morning, isn't well, you he? you got all your dogs in one room Oh, tonight, God. Don't. We all have them in the bed. You put them in the bed, they, all those they, big all dogs? All three dogs sleep in the bed. Now we're having a problem where we don't have enough cover because we have Bud at the head of the bed, Uma under the covers, and Willow at the foot. And Willow's not even supposed to be our dog. Oh, man. And so we're having to raise the grand dog now. Do, do I have time for like 10 seconds? Sure. Or? You got plenty of time. Okay, Go right so, ahead. So when Gladys and I first got married, I had this lab, and he was about 90 pounds. Samate, was, he was a one. I, oh, labs I are got, always, yeah. I got him when he was six weeks old. So anyways, we got married, and the first thing you know, this dog jumps in bed. She goes, this dog not sleeping in the bed with me. And I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, and he kind of looks at me and like, okay. So he got on, he got on the, the floor. So what would happen when we were living in Detroit, Gladys used to get up an hour ahead of me. So as soon as that door closed, that dog would jump up in the bed because I had <laughs> and I'd be sleeping. I'd get home when that would happen. I'd go through that dog's in the bed again. You had him in the bed. I said, I never had that dumb dog in the bed. And that dog would just sit there looking at me like this. Said, you lie, never. you lie, Next you lie. Day. Next day, whoop, there you go. Come on, Samante, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, Biggin has sent us a text message in here and realized that we need to help you. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start a GoFundMe. We have found the Munsters Butch Patrick Wolf Doll. We have found it. $7,500. That should be an easy raise for you. Oh, you know, if I had that thing, I would be carrying it around Seneca every day. You know, even I don't care where I'd be. If I was in a restaurant, I'd have my own chair for that thing. And I'd just pet it and I would love on it. Call, call your buddy Riney. He's got it. <laughs> He's got the honey pot up there in Mountain Rest. Call him. He can do it for you. Seven thousand five hundred dollars. The Munsters Butch Patrick oh, golly, Limited that Edition. Would be wonderful. Edition two of only one hundred were made. So this is number two. Seven thousand five hundred dollars. I don't care if it's number one hundred. You just want it, right? Yes, yes. Oh gosh. I wouldn't even rename it. I'd keep the original name. Hey, got to say good morning to Emily uh, Sosby. She's checking in. Emily uh, is a, we've had her in here before the studio. She's a sweet little girl, and um, she's been going through some health problems a little bit, and Emily listens to us every week. Good. She, she was just in the hospital this past week, and uh, she's still hurting a bit. So, Emily, Does she have any special requests? Uh, well, she's a country music fan. Okay. And I can't play country music on this radio show. Only very special occasions will I play stuff like that. So, unfortunately, Luke Bryan is who she would want to hear. I know that for a fact. Uh, all the way down in Garden City Beach this morning, Greg, good morning to you. And thank you for being a part of the show this morning. I did mention Griffin, Georgia. Scooter is mentioning a song, and i got to be honest, I don't think I've ever heard it, but I, Scooter's never led me wrong. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here real quick and see if I can find it. The song title is called Wave the Flag, Stop the Train by the Move in 1967. And Scooter has never led me wrong on some of these rarities, these oddities. All right, so the move... And it's called Wave the Flag and Stop the Train. You're going to be surprised, but I actually have that song. So I've never heard it. Do you recall? No, no, okay, I well, we're going to give it. This is a Scooter Leslie instant request, and Scooter has never let me wrong on songs. So here we go. Here's the move and wave your flag and stop the train from 67. Jump out on the line. 
telling you, running a uh, radio station and doing the online stream, yeah, it's expensive because you just because you go buy or download a song, that doesn't give you the property right license to broadcast. That's for your personal enjoyment in your home. What about YouTube? Uh, YouTube is the same way, it, but that's personal in your home. But if I use it for broadcast, I still the same thing. I have to pay anything that you put in a broadcast. Far as commercial AM, FM, television, online radio, you have to pay royalties. Because and they think you're making a buck. That off. that's correct. And let me tell you, it is not cheap. Lake Kiwi Radio Line is $2,500 a year. Sunny 107.9, astronomical, and it's actually basically a not-for-profit radio station. That's what the LPFM designed for. It was not-for-profit. Uh, I can sell sponsorship, but it's not, it's a support sponsorship because in, in with 107.9, I can write a tax donation to your business. So, f- for example, if you own a car wash and you wanted to sponsor – 107.9, you're going to give me X amount for sponsorship, and I'll give you a tagline or a little 30-second blurb, but then I can write you a tax receipt, and you can take it off on your taxes. Because that's the way that the LPFM Radio Act was created for not-for-profit. So if I, how would I be able to do something like that and get that wolf doll as a tax? I don't know how you would do that. You're going to have to do a lot of digging and searching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, that, but but seriously, people don't understand, and and that's the problem right now too. Radio is not like it used to be, and I'm glad you let into that because I wanted to let folks know that we're going to change some things here in the coming weeks. Um, we oper- have been operating as in two different radio stations. Oh, that's the big boss right there, isn't it? Is that the big one? No, it's not the big one. I thought that was the big boss. No. Um, so you, you, we're operating as a two radio stations, okay? So Sunny 107.9 is a terrestrial radio station on FM, and then it has an online stream. And so we have one here at LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com, so we're online only. What we're going to do is our social media presence, where we have actually two social media pages right now between both stations. We're going to merge that into one. There's no rhyme or reason why we should have two different separate um, Facebook pages. So this, will this be separate from LTO? Uh, it's going LTO is still going to be a separate entity altogether. So it's going to sit over here in its its own little shell. But there's no reason why we should not merge. Instead of having two Facebook pages, we have one. So in the process now, it will become Oconee's greatest hit stations. And I mean, I'm gonna change the word so you, people that are likes both pages will get notified that the page is changing. We'll merge it into one. That way, I can take all of the folks that follow Sunny 107.9, which is over 8,000 listeners, uh, versus 20, almost 3,000 for Lake Kiwi Radio Online, and combine it into one, which should give us over 10,000 access to listeners in here and around Oconee County. It just makes sense, and it keeps the workload off of me because right now I'm having to update two Facebook pages, and then if you throw LTO in the mix and all the other stuff I do, uh, it's wide open. Well, you know what, though? When people listen to the show, mm-hmm. and I didn't, but you know, it's like anything. You listen to the shows, and it's like, hey, this is great. But like with this LTO that we have now, you just, there is an enormous amount of work that goes into yes. these platforms mm-hmm. and these. I mean, it's not like somebody, you know, just sitting in a room and just creating something. Hey, everybody listen to this. That's right. Of, you know, or some type of little dinky podcast. I mean, this is a... This is a well, that, but you got the websites too. Yeah. So the website's going to be the exact same thing. LTO will still continue to have its own website, but I'm going to combine Lake Kiwi Radio Online, Sunny 107.9 into one website. There's no reason why we should have two separate websites because we're we're two separate, but we're working under the same mission together. So that's coming in in the few weeks ahead. I'm hoping to have everything rolled out by Thanksgiving. I'm going to get myself about, you know, a month and a half, two months time frame because I've got a lot of other stuff going on. But right around Thanksgiving, maybe that Friday of Thanksgiving, everything will be combined. The, sad, the, the bad thing of it is the website will probably have to have a new address. I'll have to have a centralized new website address. And I could run both the current website, but when you're doing a promo and you're going to become one, you need one website so that it goes to one. 
you know what? So when you when you look at all this, basically what you're going to do is you're going to get more reach. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's okay. that's the ultimate goal to get more reach for for less buck because mm-hmm. I don't have to pay for all the services that I'm having to pay for now, but also to cut down on the amount of time that I'm having to spend to keep the social media pages updated with content, news, information that I can do it one page. Right. One right. page because 1079 is an oldies based radio station, 60s, 70s, 80s, Carolina Beach music. Lake Kiwi Radio Line is more now 70s, 80s, 90s because I'm tapping into a demographic that's not being reached anymore. Uh, the 80s and 90s is a new demographic, my age group, that's not being tapped in. And with the advent of us losing a radio station in the Greenville Spartanburg market, which is Earth FM, which was the greatest hit station. There are going to be a lot of people searching for that kind of music. So that's why it's important now to consolidate, become one, and have everything centralized. Because we are losing Earth FM, which is 103.3 and 95.5. Uh, they've been sold. That's part of the WGTK. And for you folks, that we talked about this for Conservative Talk. If you listen to 94.5, they're gone. Uh, right. And it's coming at the end of the month. They're going to be changed over to uh, Contemporary Christian uh, this group that's bought them, that's what they spe- they do across the country. They're basically just transmitter holders, and they program their signal from, I believe it's somewhere out in California, out to here. So that's what's going to happen. But you know what, though? When you when we were talking about Let's Talk Oconee, and mm-hmm. I remember when we were negotiating my contract, yeah, and, you, oh, yeah, yeah. and you were yeah. like, well, what do you want? And I said, I want to get to Hollywood. I yeah, want my own yeah, Hollywood yeah. career. He says, Chris, I'll get you to Hollywood. So, oh, I can. I'm going to get so you to Hollywood. Is, all right, all right. I, gonna I'm going to get sure. you to Hollywood, South Carolina. You didn't specify which Hollywood you wanted. Well, because I'm investing all this money with Timu yeah, for yeah. my various outfits, you know. Oh, I, you know. speaking of Chinese places, mm-hmm. I got another website for you to check out. Oh, it's called oh. Shin, and they're more along the lines of clothing, and they've got cool T-shirts. I'm talking awesome T-shirts. So I'm going to hook you on another one. I just had to buy... A hundred hangers. <laughs> For your team. I kept laying crap on the bed and everything else and Gladys is not get this off here. So I had to buy hangers and we got a, we got all these t shirts and crap hanging around the house. So <laughs> All right. Uh let's see what I got for you on the old turntable. What was the other you wanted to hear the turtles? Yes. Happy together. All and right. then we were talking about Tommy James and Sean Dells. That very romantic song that was playing when I was in eighth grade. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, I got it. 1967. Let's play it now for everybody. You ready? Comes a classic for you. We're so happy oh, I love together. That song. Chris Rue and Jazzy Jeff here on the greatest hit, 16 after 10. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together If I should call you up Invest a dime And you say you belong to me Lose my mind Imagine how the world could be So very fine So happy together No matter how they toss the dice, it had to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. When you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue for all my the dice it had to be the only one for me is you and you for me so happy together
toss the dice, it had to be the only one for me is you and you for me. So happy together, so happy together. And how is the weather? So happy together, we're happy together. So happy I'm thinking of the cardboard cutout for you. <laughs> that would be even better. Oh, God. Come visit Chris on locations. You only have to be there. We'll just put your cardboard cutout and with a little peace sign. You know, like when they used to have pit, you have pictures of Reagan and you'd stand next to Reagan? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think with a little work, we can make you look like Richard Nixon. Oh, Lord. We're I've never been a crook. I've earned everything I've got. Oh, golly. I remember That's that your too. favorite president, wasn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's your favorite president, wasn't it? That was a... <laughs> that was the first vote I ever cast was for Nixon. <laughs> well, we know how that worked, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? It's pretty tame compared to now. I mean. Oh, who did I vote for first? Let's see. Yeah, I voted for Clinton. Yeah, I did. I voted for Clinton. Yeah. Old Clinton, he proved some things in the White House, that's for sure. Yeah. You can do certain things, and it's not considered certain things. But we'll just stop right there. We ain't going to go no further. Weather forecast, yeah, that's we got to go far on that one now. Oh, man. Scattered showers today, mainly after 5 p.m., mostly sunny. High around 80 degrees tonight. Scattered showers, mainly after 4 a.m., mostly cloudy, low 65. And then for Sunday, showers and thunderstorms likely, and maybe a rumble of thunder in the afternoon. High around 79, Sunday night showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, low around 58. Currently God, right now. Great. From the Julian Davis Allstate Insurance Agency studio here at Madison Point, it is officially 70 degrees right now. There you go. I wanted to emphasize the studio part. Are well, you sure? I thought it was Julio Avis. <laughs> <laughs> Julio Avis. Yeah, I, I like that. Julio Avis. And one Melliot studio. Yeah, one Melliot. Hey, you, uh, this coming Saturday night at 7 o'clock, we're actually off. We did our show Thursday night. But uh, you've got a show, an interview mm -hmm. that you did. Tell tell us about about that coming up for Sunday at seven. Yeah, uh, I uh, interviewed a guy, really nice guy. He's a emin of a mosque in Clemson, mm -hmm. which means he's a spiritual leader, and re he's from Egypt. And uh, basically, he started when he came to the states. He was a representative for the United Nations. And then he started working for an organization that supported uh, mosques within uh, the United States. And um, he's Ahmad Fazi is his name. And uh, you're going to, I mean, this is a really, really nice, decent it guy. It is. I, I, I was blown away. It is just how nice and very, arti he was very articulate in, his, yes. in what he was talking about. And what, what I found very, very interesting you know, as a Christian, is what when you start crossing over and listening to people, it's like the similarities. I mean, are there the basic things, the 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 kindness, you know, mm -hmm. you know, peaceful, you know, the love, you know. I mean, and so when you listen to this, um, it's very eye opening, very eye. And this, what I like about the guy is he's got a great sense of humor, and he'll actually explain things like you know when everybody says, "Well, is it true you could have?" Uh, all these wives and he explains and he would say yeah yeah but that's he explained what it was oh yeah absolutely and some of the problems that we have in the states when you when you look at some of the violence you know ar ar around religions and stuff you know sometimes when people get a little crazy it's the same thing same thing he he'll if you watch watch the interview you'll see that they literally would stop people in Egypt where he had to cut the uh, length of his beard, because right. if it was too long, yeah. he would be stopped by the state police. So, yeah. anyways, please tune in. It's it's a great. It'll be a great interview. Seven o'clock on Let's Talk Oconee SC and on the Facebook page at Let's Talk Oconee. One other item I wanted to mention: Have you had an opportunity this morning to read the journal? No, I haven't. Well, I can't wait for you to go look at the article this morning concerning the. Um, 
the OJRSA has directs the fi- direct the finance committee to review impact fee recommendations. Yes, oh. and we're talking suggestive increases are steep. Um, the whole article this morning from Riley Morningstar now mm-hmm. talks about that the treatment plant, which is just about a mile, two miles from where we're at here, potentially. Uh, may have to be expanded to be able to compete with all of what's going on. Right now, it's treating 4.4 million gallons, uh, but they may have to upgrade it if you get all of this stuff coming in here to 7.8 million gallons a day. And the question now is, how much more acreage do they have to be able to do that? Good Lord, we're screwed, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, you, you know gotta, re- you need to read the article. It's pretty, I, it's I, pretty interesting. Right, and you know what? I know this isn't really the. I know, but I just, no, I wanted no, to bring can that. Can I just say one yeah, thing? Yeah, sure, sure. So, so when you listen, you you need to watch our show. And this, th- let's talk Oconee, and and I'm gonna give, we joke around and stuff, but that is Jeff's brainchild, and I'm very fortunate to be a part of it because. The thing that's great about Jeff and the show is, is, you know, we have disagreements, all of us do, on politics stuff. But when you get into the local things, you know, we're all in agreement. And, uh, you know, Jeff grew up here. Yep. I grew up in a town about the, actually a little bit smaller than Westminster in northern Indiana. And I moved 11 times when I, during my career and settled here because, you know, I love it. My wife's from South Carolina. But we all care about Oconee County, mm-hmm. and there's this group that we talk about, and the one, th- and and my big thing, we each within the LTO group, we each have our own passions. Mine is about proper, uh, responsible growth, mm-hmm. and I support it. But I'm telling you what, when it can get very expensive when you start opening the door and you start letting anything happen, and when why he's talking about this is because wasn't just six months ago mm-hmm. we had these this group and they're saying we don't have any growth mm-hmm. we don't have to do planning and if you do any type of proper zoning for planning it's basically the work of communists i mean we're talking crazy I stuff know, i know and so anyways but i'm tell you this that is we wild. now we now can sit back and say guess what we told you so yeah and i went i went before the planning commission last year in November, December, talked about this, and my concern was, and Jeff will vouch for it, mm-hmm. was when you have things like this and it's taxes just... go up so much, you have good, decent people oh. that have worked their entire lives t- for their homes, and when the taxes go up, they are forced out of their homes. Well, and I literally had these people telling people to confront me in, yeah. in public with my family. Here's what you're going to do. You're gonna, you're, <laughs> if that comes to fruition, you're going to do the raising of the tap fees and stuff. There goes your development because it'll start being cut back. I'm telling you. So what will the tap fee be? Like five oh, grand? It's two grand now. No, it, it was a significant increase. Read the article and we'll have a discussion oh, on it coming man, up. All right. So you said you wanted Tommy James and Shondells, right? Yes. I think we're eighth grade. I'm going to do YMCA dances. I'm going to do a three peat. Oh, something good. I've never done before. We're going to start off. With a dedication, long distance dedication from LTO to the OCC. Oh, that's even better. That's even better, right? Yes. You know, Tommy James and Shondells had this song in 1966, and I know what y'all do over there when y'all get together and have those meetings. (laughs) Y'all got a little hanky panky going on. Oh, right. All right, let's start it over. There we go. i 
does a hanky panky. Oh, my baby does a hanky panky. 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 Ah, oh, let's move it out. Let's go.
us, he gave us sweet cherry wine. Tommy James, that is Sean Bells and Sweet Cherry Wine 1969. 10.36 this morning here. Sunny 107.9 WFBS and Lake Kiwi Radio Online. I'm going to come back and I will play Crimson and Clover uh, before we get out of here. Because guess what? We get to get out of here at 11 o'clock today. Because see, I'm going to go do what we normally do on Saturday mornings. You know, this is actually the first time I've been back in the studio in probably about two weeks because last week we were all over Oconee County, and I'm gonna go. Oh, pop, that's right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pop some tags. You know what popping tags mean? No. <laughs> we're going thrift shopping. Oh. You know, Laura, that's that's Monkey Monster Hour's thing. Yesterday when she got home, she said, "I want to do something fun." I said, "Okay, I got you something fun. I know what we're gonna do." We hopped in the car and went thrift shopping. <laughs> I love thrift shopping. I thought popping tags was like when people would take tags off license plates. No, you you, you don't remember the song, popping no. tags from Macklemore? No. no. Oh my gosh, Chris, I gotta play that for you this Why morning. Popping tags. You, hold on, hold on, Macklemore. Uh, it's called Thrift Shop. That's the name of the song. It was a huge hit. It's called Pop and Tap. You no, know, the title of the song is Thrift Shop by Michael Moore. Oh, come on, Chris. I know you've heard it. Hold on. I'm I probably have heard yeah, it. Let, let me play you a little bit of it. You okay, ready? Okay. Hey, Michael Moore, can we go thrift shopping? Thrift what, shopping. What, See? What? 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 Now you have. What? 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 what it's good. It's a cool beat. I like it. We're going thrift shopping. Oh! Oconee County Beach Music, baby. Here it is. There you go. Now you remember the song, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just I, I just wanted to make sure. I was worried you know, about you, you this find morning. Find stuff so good because I know what I'm doing. You, you're, it's going to take years for you to get to my stature and level. Because I'm look, thrift shopping? look, I have a possum in the studio. You just have old Ratty Matty. No, not, not unless not unless I go up to Mountain Rest. I'll get one of those four times that size. You know. What you gonna get a possum on the half shell up there? <laughs> Hey, Bo, good morning to you, brother. I'm glad you're checking in. Oh, good. We got another comment. Yep, we comment. got Bo. And the most, Thank you, because nobody's commenting. But, but, oh, yeah, they are. And the most important one has hey, commented. Woman just came yeah, out. I know. And it's your woman, too, I might add. Yes, yes. Uh oh. Oh, with that. <laughs> what? What? I can't see what you. Why are you doing <laughs> on Facebook. It's a message I just got. Oh, it says, someone, uh, uh, Charlotte, she's a sweet little girl, by the way, says, hey, Jazzy Jeff, on with that mean man. He's on with that mean mean guy. That's what she calls you, Chris. <laughs> calls you a mean guy. 
Why am I a mean guy? I'm a nice guy. Hey, check out my hat, man. Wait a minute. Hey, I gotta put on my. I gotta put on my hater block. Oh, now I'm cool. Yeah, no, now you're cool. You you will never be as cool as me singing hop hop. Hop 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 like a bunny do it. Hop 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 like they always do. Hop 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 like a bunny do it. Hop hop and he hop. I never heard that song. Oh hop 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 like a bunny do it. Hop 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 like they always do. Hop 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 like a bunny do it. Hop hop and he hop. One more time. Oh hop hop. Hop like a bunny do it. Hop, 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 hop like they always do. Hop, hop, hop like a bunny do it. Hop, hoppity hop. There you go. That is Charlotte's favorite song, the hop, hop song. I like that. I know you do. I like it too. I've been singing it for years. Hop, hop. Uh, let's see. Uh, your wife does say Chris is scaring people. <laughs> what? I should have changed my hat. <laughs> My favorite hat? I don't know. My I just, Charlotte Witt hat? I mean, that's funny. <laughs> that, that may be the post day right there. All right. Good morning to you, little Charlotte. And listen, Chris is not a mean guy, by the way. Chris is actually a pretty nice guy. You just got to get to know him. Yes. It takes a while to get to know him. <laughs> Uh-oh, you're changing hats. Hey, be careful with the pig hat. That is a limited edition pig hat that you're about know, to put on. I, know. I love it. I love it. I want not all right, so we got Hot Pop in there there this morning for little Charlotte. I know she's going to be excited to listen to that there. Let me see here. We got, oh, we, uh, what else we got? Uh, did I promise you another Tommy James and Shondells? What yes. yes, I did. Crimson I, and Clover. Well, let's just go ahead and get Crimson and Clover on now. Oh, my God, this is such a good song. I love it. Crimson and Clover, back to the year 1968. Picture this. You're driving around listening on that classic AM radio station with that one speaker in the front hood. Uh, the front dash bouncing and beaming to this song right here. Listen to it. The original in stereo. Come off, you know. 
46 this morning here on the Greatest Hits, Sunny 107.9 WFBS. Uh, Tommy James and the Shondells, Crimson and Clover. And that was the long version. There's two versions of that. There was a short one for radio play, and then there was the longer version. So you got a treat. You, that, I didn't know that. Yep, that version right there is not one that's heard a lot on radio because uh, it's like over five minutes long, but 1968 was the year. So they just said Crimson and Clover over and over, over and next, over again. for an extra two minutes. That's pretty good, Chris. I like that. I, hey, that, I, that I, makes you for are a lear- dance when you're in eighth grade. You, you know? are learning this radio business quick. <laughs> you know, it, it, back in the old days, we didn't have the luxury of computer technology when I started, even going back further. I mean, I started in 91. Computers were not a thing yet. They were getting there. We had the console, which was this huge monstrosity. That's the board. We had a cart machine, Okay. And the cart machine was kind of like eight-track tapes where you would put them in. They were specialized for broadcast. You had two turntables. The first automation system that I worked was a ginormous reel-to-reel machine. In other words, it was a whole machine with cabinets that, that took up the whole wall here. And it had a brain, a very sophisticated 16 kilobyte brain that had a controller. And you could segue and automate with reel-to-reel machines. There were st- uh, companies that made formats for radio, and you put these reel-to-reels on. Um, and so if you had to go to the bathroom and that didn't work up there, then you found a record. And you got you about a six-minute-something record, like, um, uh, oh, gosh, light my fire the doors. There's two versions, a short one and a long one. But then there's another version of Mountain Jam by the Almond Brothers. That puppy's 30 minutes long. <laughs> One song. One song, 30 minutes. So let me tell you in my young career what old Jazzy Jeff decided to do. Now, the original radio station, when we had just changed the format to rock and roll, the studio was up here on Radio Station Road, uh, right across from the Is doctor's that why office. that's they call it Radio Station? Ra- that's exactly why they call it Radio Station I Road. Never so they never, nothing's up there anymore, Radio Station. No, uh, the transmitter sites are, but the studios, they're gone. I mean, they've been gone for about 20 year, 25 well, years really now. It's a clever name. Yeah, it? they call it uh, North Radio Station Road and South Radio Station Road. So I got this harebrained idea one Saturday night, nothing going on. I put that 30-minute song on, uh, decided to go to McDonald's, get me a cheeseburger, came back, used the bathroom, 
and I wanted a milkshake. So I went back. Still had plenty of time because, I mean, the radio station studio and McDonald's were just like less than, you know, right, right beside each other closely. So the second time I wasn't so lucky, I left the station keys locked up in the studio. So what did you do? <laughs> and to call my boss to come let me in. So you had dead time that mm-hmm. whole time? Yeah. Man, I bet he was bad. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things that you learn in business. But that truly did happen, yeah. I got locked out of the radio station. And I do have somebody now that is getting ready to, um, oh, we're going to have to do this, like sit around and me tell these stories like I've told. I have somebody ready to write those stories. Really? Yeah, I do. I've, we've got somebody that is going to take all of these stories that I've got, that I've told you all that's happened, and commence them to put them in a book form. So um, you'll have your own book? I'll have my own book. Well, wait a minute. Does that mean you're going to have some LTO stories? Oh, there's going to be plenty. Oh, God. Um, that's now, the title of the book, uh-huh. and this is going to be my autobiography, is going to be called From the Mill to the Hill. <laughs> From the Utica Mill Hill to Radio Hill, because that's what we used to call it up here, yeah. was Radio Hill, From High Top the Hill and Seneca. So that's the title of it, From the Mill to the Hill. And I'll tell, uh, in the book, I'm going to do all about the broadcasting and and other fun things along the way. Wait till we get into the se- series about Oconee politics. <laughs> I got some good stuff there. But, yeah, I, I decided that to, I wanted to commit the knowledge of all these stories I've had because some of these are funny stories that I've told through the years. That I would read it. That, well, when are, so what are we looking at, a year from now? Um, as soon as we can get started. And uh, you actually know the person that's going to write the book. Uh, it's Morgan. Really? Kathy, yeah, Kathy's daughter. Yeah, she's good. And um, so she's that's agreed to do the, so what she'll do is have a recording of me telling these stories, and we'll put it in the book form. Uh, but I've had several people that have reached out. <laughs> right. so we will, like Amazon would publish it? I don't know. I mean, I just want to get it to book form and commit to the knowledge of all these stories because I've got a bunch um, and I'm pretty sure that this will have to be rated M for mature. <laughs> will my, uh, wait a minute. Lori wanted to know, uh, will my years be censored? <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? That is one book that I'm going to read. Yeah. So I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, why don't you put this to book form and, you know, why did Gladys even? Said that. Yeah, so I've decided that you know the best way to do it is me just tell the stories, and we're sitting here just having a conversation, and there's so many. I mean, I, I've got some from the early days of radio that will blow you away. Like for example, um, in the middle of the ACC baseball tournament, the radio station goes off the air in Clemson. When I work for WCCP, we think I'm thinking it's a transmitter failure. You know, something's happened to the transmitter side. Well, that wasn't necessarily the case. You know what happened? No. Blue Ridge Electric came and pulled the power meter because the owners of the radio station didn't pay the power bill. <laughs> Did they ever bring it back and pay it? Oh, yeah. I, I was able to get it bought, but the time the power got back on, the Clemson ACC baseball term was over. Clemson had lost. Oh, God. Yeah. Those are just many, some of the many stories. Um the other one is I found a DJ drunk, passed out with his pants down around his ankles on the toilet, and the radio station was off the air. It was going, shh, shh, shh. You could hear the record on the air. Shh, shh, shh. I mean, these are just true stories. I thought he was dead. I mean, these are true stories. Um, I'll tell this one because this one's actually funny, and I got a request, too, before we you know start wrapping the show up. So, um, yeah, Red Durkin. So Red was a legendary disc jockey around here years ago. He worked between WCCP in Clemson and WBFM up here in WSNW. So he had got into it with Mr. Gallimore. Mr. Gallimore owned the radio station and the paper at the time. So he decided he was going to quit. Okay, he was he's had enough of it. He was going to quit. We already had another job anyway. So in the old day, there was the studio. You had a newsroom. And then behind the studio was the bathroom. So when you walked out of the studio, you, there was the bathroom. You'd go straight to the bathroom. So Mr. Durkin got a probably a 50-foot micro cord, microphone cord, unhooked everything, hooked it up to the microphone cord, took the microphone off the mic arm here, and after the song ended, he turned the microphones on, 
and started proceeding to go out the door. And he's, you know, chit-chatting, talking about the weather forecast. And then all of a sudden, there's this dramatic pause in his voice. And he said, now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the sound of Niagara Falls. And he commences to peeing in the toilet live on the radio. Did he get in trouble? No. But then here's the funny thing. After he's done peeing, he said, now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the sound of a rushing Niagara Falls. And he flushes the toilet. He's holding the microphone down on the toilet. That is a true story. That happened. So was he doing it for a joke? No, he done it to quit, and he quit live on the radio. Oh, he quit. That's how he quit. Yeah, is the sound, still, that is happened. He, is he still around? No, he's dead. He's been gone many, many years. Boy, that would have been, that, it'd been fun to have that, a that happened in this industry. Yes, that happened. And there's also another good one. I can't tell it on the air. That you'll just have to buy the book to read it. But it oh, come on, you can tell me when the show. It, it involves a car wash. <laughs> okay. And then it all. Then then of course there's one that involves uh, Tri County Builders and Olympic deck stain. You just use your imagination. Yeah. So these are all the stories that I've got collected up for all these years that I think I want to commit them to paper, and uh, you know have them for many years to come. Okay. Got a request. This comes from your daughter, by the way. Really? Yeah, it comes from Abby. It says, good morning. Any chance we might have a chance to hear? Absolutely. For you, Abby, I will play it at 1056. It is getting to be about that time. The Monster Mash. Oh, that's what you wanted? Yeah, that's what you wanted to hear. So why not? Let's just play it this morning. Enjoy here on The Greatest Hits. My monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electro. They did the match. They did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They did the match. It caught on in a flash. They did the match. They did the monster match. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains, back by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the match. They played the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They played the match. It caught on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. Out from his coffin, Rex's voice did ring. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the match. It's now the monster match. The monster match. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the match. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the match. It's now the monster match. Now everything's cool, Drax a part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them what is said. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. And you, my graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Mash. Well, there you go. At the top of the hour at 1059 here. Sunny 107.9 is WFBS LPFM Salem and LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com. Sonica, we have had a large time this morning, Mr. Ruin. Yes, it was great. Thanks for having me on. You know, oh, and Jeff yes. knows there's nothing like better than spending time just chatting like this. Oh, well, we have. And a- I love this hat. 
<laughs> and maybe someday he'll say, Chris, you can have this because I would definitely add it to my collection. Still, Bib, I, I'll have to charge you. I mean, that's a special limited edition pig is. hat. I and, I mean, and I saved that pig hat from a certain slaughter because it was going to be thrown away. And I said, no, we're not throwing the pig hat away. Okay, this is... Which yeah, wonderful. I mean that pig hat with the with the spider on it and that nose. Um, well, I never put it together. I when we were having the show and I was wearing, I thought it was I thought it was a donkey hat. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "No, it's from Charlotte's Web." <laughs> hey, wait! I want to make sure that you invite me back when we have the Christmas, so we can do the. Well, you and I don't know if you saw, but we all collectively coming up on in the first week in October. No, excuse me, October twentieth. The is it the twentieth or, or the twenty first? It's October the twenty first. Um, we are going to be providing coverage and a live broadcast for the five k uh, for the Oktoberfest five k in Wahala. Uh, there on West Main Street, and you'll hear more details about that coming up in the next few weeks. So twenty first, twenty first. That's what I yes. thought. We're going to be taking the show on the road. You've um, got. We're going to be there eight to ten. Eight or to ten. Eleven. Oh Lord, I wish you could make it eight to twelve. Why? Because I just like the show. Well, after ten o'clock or eleven, there's nobody on the street. The race is over with. So I mean, well, if we you can still have a show. I mean, if you want to sit up there and be on the streets of Wahala and do a live show, and you know, <laughs> certain people drive by and want to shoot you, that's fine. Well, as long as they can wear this Charlotte's web hat, I would. Well, you you got you've got a target now. You've got two ears. <laughs> well, before we go, I got a story for you, Chris. Why we all should be sleeping in the nude. This is research that the LTO Investigative Services has done. If you haven't been sleeping in the nude, you might be missing out on some major benefits, Chris. Major benefits. A study about people who ditched the clothes before hitting the hay revealed they sleep better. 80% nude versus 60% clothed. Obviously, they have more you-know-what. Hanky-panky. Most nude sleepers say they uh, do so for the comfort, but it's not the hanky-panky. For me, I do it for both. <laughs> <laughs> there all you right, go. All right, all there right. That's go. a good Yay. way to end the show. All right, all right. All right. Well, it's time to get out of here. Lori and I are going to go pop some tags. You're going to go do your exercises, and all is going to be right with the world. That's right. All right, remember, no LTO. We've got conversation with Chris Ruin tomorrow at 7. The uh, next broadcast of this show is next weekend. I believe. It seems like I've got something big next. I do have something big next weekend. I actually have a uh, memorial that I've got to go DJ for, an actual memorial. Oh, geez, uh, and he was really a good friend of mine. And we're actually, right. instead of going the traditional funeral route, we're just going to do a big memorial party because that's what he wanted anyway. He wanted us to all get together and have a big party. So I'm going to DJ a memorial. And we're going to have fun, laughter, a few tears. But I will be doing that next week. But, uh... Oh, Lord, I tell you, we're about to wind up September. Can you believe this? No, not at all. All right. Well, Ruin, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, everybody. I do. I appreciate you always. All right. We'll see you again next Saturday. Y'all be good out there. Enjoy yourself. Don't forget Clemson football tonight at 8 o'clock. And if you can, get out and find you a possum on the half shell because they make great pets, and they're all up in Mountain Rest down around that. Well, if uh, you go to Mountain Rest, you got to buy a bigger cage. Yeah. Because they're big possums up there. They're huge possums up there. Folks, I'll see you next week. Have a great one. Jancy Jeff, so long, everybody.